So what we're going to look at next, now that you've seen the movie, is um, how to solve for acceleration from a velocity over time graph. That's when we have velocity on the y and time on the x. So first thing is the graph that we want is this one. It's got velocity on the y and time on the x. And in this example, Mateo was bowling, and for a while he was standing still. But then he started to speed up, and then at the very bottom, he pushed the ball. Now just remember, it's going in the negative direction because, well, he was running this way, which on the coordinate plane is in the negative x direction. So don't mind the negative slope. This isn't slowing down. The slope's actually increasing as he's going forward. It's just in the negative direction. So what we need is, we need, an, remember for acceleration, v final equals v initial plus at minus vi minus vi. We're going to solve for acceleration here. v final minus v initial equals at, then divided by time. Acceleration equals that stuff. So what I need is a velocity final, a velocity initial, and a time that went by. Let's take a look at that. We have right there, kind of, a, we can even call velocity initial zero, but this is where the movement started. Right there. And we'll call this our velocity final at that time. And what we have is, it's kind of choppy from the dots, but you can kind of see is this um, kind of a trend line. I kind of have it in the wrong spot. That's okay. But anyway, we want to find kind of the average acceleration during that time. So, I'm going to take my velocity initial equals zero, velocity final equals, we'll just call that six, and then how much time went by? This is a tricky part. Here's our starting time, here's our ending time. Looks like it went from, I don't know, 1.8 seconds to... 3.7. So the total change in time, what's the difference between these two? 3.7 minus 1.8 equals, I don't know, 9, 1.9 seconds. All right, I'm going to go to the next page and let's see some data. Here's our, here's our info. Over here is our formula. If we plug it in, we get 6 minus 0 divided by 1.9 equals a little bit more than 3. We'll say it's around 3.2 meters per second squared. Or 3.1, probably. Anyway, it's close. I don't have a calculator. Now that we have acceleration, the mass of the bowling ball is 13.4 kilograms. Now I can find the average force applied. And that's what you guys are going to do. Find the acceleration, find the mass, and then solve for force applied during whatever scenario you recorded.